hello friend welcome to plastic product design series so in this series uh, we are started with the injection molding and in previous video we have discussed what is runner and uh, the function of the runner in the injection molding so in this video we will discuss the type of uh, runner system in the injection molding actually there are two types one is a cold runner system and hot runner system so cold runner systems are the unheated channel okay so the runner here it is unheated so during the cooling process or the solidification process of the part so at the same time the runner also it will cool and solidify so in that case we need to uh, remove this part and remove this runner as well so so in the cold runner system so the runner is also here we are removing and we are scrapping this runner so there is a wastage of the runner in the for the each cycle so here the material is wasted the runner and this material of uh, wasted material of the runner we can reuse in the uh, reuse or we can discard okay so this cold runner systems are generally used for a simple mold or the for a small uh, parts and uh, where we require the low volume of production so at that time the cold runner is feasible and the advantage of the cold runner systems are uh, low tooling cost and because here we don't require any heating element for the runner and uh, don't require any control or the maintenance for the uh, uh, maintaining the temperature of the runner because uh, okay, I mean uh, upcoming slide we are discussing the hot runner system so in there you can understood that uh, how we can maintain the temperature of the runner so here on the cold runner system lower tooling cost is there and simple design and it is suitable for thermoplastics because every time we I means in each cycles there is a scrap uh, of the runner runner material and each times we are cooling uh, cooling and uh, solidifying the runner and the gate as well and the sprue as well so every time we are getting the wastage of material so that wastage of material we need to reuse uh, and disadvantage here it is a material waste and additional labor is required to remove the runner systems and it reduces the cycle efficiency because the extra cooling for the runner and uh, runner we required here so it increases the cycle time so these are the disadvantage of the uh, cold runner system so the shape of the runner it comes uh, with the uh, full round half round trapezoidal uh, rectangle type u shape type so you can see this one is the first mold and this one is a second mold half so this one is the first half and half of the mold and this one is the second half of the mold and here this is the mating line or you can say the parting line okay so this full round runner it is uh, separated between these two mold half half uh, circle and this one is a half circle and trapezoidal it is on one side so like this others are on one side most of the time the full round runners are used in the mold design now let's discuss the hot runner system so the hot runner systems here we are uh, maintaining or uh, heating the uh, runners okay so that our uh, molten material is at the same temperature okay and every times uh, in each cycles so we don't require to cool the uh, runner material so the material inside the runner we don't need to require to cool that material so at that time so what will happen so only we need to remove this part okay we don't uh, we don't require the cooling for the runner so here we need to properly maintain the temperature of the runner so for that we can use the insulated runner system some external heating with some external heating for the uh, to maintain the temperature of the runner and some internal heat, uh, heatings are there so for that 
uh, heating elements are placed uh, uh, inside the runner so that uh, the temperature will be maintained so these are the type of the runner actually insulated externally heated and internally heated so here there will be the no wastage of material only we are removing the part and runner we are maintaining the temperature so here uh, molten material is there for each cycle and we can inject uh, inject the uh, molten material from the runner for, for each cycle so here no wastage of material and it is having the good efficiency and material saving okay and these hot runner systems are uh, suitable for high volume production so the advantage of the hot runner systems are like here the eliminated of runner waste so wastage will not be there and uh, shorter cycle time because here we no need to cool the uh, runner and uh, solidify the runner so here cycle time is shorter and it will improve the part quality as the material is consistently molten and ensure the better flow because uh, we are maintaining the temperature and, and uh, maintaining the material at the molten stage so each time we can inject from the runner system and uh, uh, there will be the no wastage and here the disadvantage is that we have means initial cost is very high and uh, required the more maintenance and uh, we need to control the temperature so proper controlling of the temperature is very important so uh, because so if the temperature is very high uh, so at that time the degradation of material will happen if the not it is properly controlled so proper control systems we needed so why two different types of runners are there so actually both runner systems are used in the injection molding machine so like a code runner system for a low volume production and it is suitable for the uh, uh, simple parts and here the tooling cost is less so at that time sorry uh, at that time the cold runner systems are used and hot runner systems are used for the high volume production where we don't require any material wastage and we require the small uh, uh, shorter cycle time and high uh, part quality so at that time hot runner systems we use so it is suitable for the hot runner system are suitable for complex mode and where the consistent flow is essential so the different type of runner systems are chosen based on the type of material part complexity and the production volume so friend i hope you understood the type of runner systems used in the injection molding machine so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon okay and share with your friend this video so that we can spread the knowledge i see you in the next video so till then watch the complete uh, uh, plastic product design series so thank you for watching see you in the next video